If you're a Wings of Fire artist, you've probably made a Wings of Fire original character. Whether it's a self-insert Sona or a fan character, it's a lot of fun writing, designing, and just creating a dragon within the Wings of Fire world yourself. I'm an artist and I love drawing dragons from Wings of Fire. I even have a few OCs myself. I've spent hours just googling types of trees when making my Rainwing OC, or animals that live in the ocean when making a seaming. If you've made a WAF character, you know what I'm talking about. But in this video, I'm not going to be spending all that time trying to find names or coming up with a backstory myself. Nope, I'm going to be making Chad GPT create the character for me. And then I'm going to draw the dragon that it creates. So let's take a quick look at the making of the characters before I go into the designing part. Okay, so the first thing I did was I asked it to design a Wings of Fire OC for me, and then it just spat out a Skywing named Blaze. And I was like, huh, Blaze. I feel like that's already a Wings of Fire character, but I can't really think of exactly who. I don't know. I feel like there was maybe a Blaze in the series. So I added on, don't use a name that's already in the series. Because, uh, I mean, that's what I wanted. And then... <laughs> It just proceeded to not give it a name at all, even though it literally said it was going to give it a unique name. And there's just, I mean, there's just no name. So then I was like, okay, I guess I can work with that. So I said, give him a name. And it said, name? Dune. Okay, well, this isn't working. There's already a Dune in the series. I literally said, use a name that's not in the series, bro. Did you not even read Wings of Fire chat? Are you not a real Wings of Fire fan chat? Alright, let's just, uh, let's give up on this chat and let's start a new one because this was not working. So, I made a new chat and, uh, I said, design a Wings of Fire OC for me, because that's what seemed to work the first time. But, when I said, design a Wings of Fire OC for me, it started, um, it started giving me instructions on how to make an OC. And I was like, no chat, I'm, I'm trying to get around this step i just want you to do it for me why are we why are you telling me how to do this i don't want to put effort into things okay but after it spat that out it started giving me blaze again so i was like i don't want blaze the skywing and finally it gave me an oc i could actually use but i wanted to do more than one oc so i had it give me five more characters and that made it so i ended up with six potential designs and I think we should just get straight into the character creating process. So let's take a look at AI generated OC number one. Kindly enough, ChatGPT split up the character information into six sections. Name, tribe, appearance, personality, background, and abilities. So let's start off with this first character. Her name is Ember. She's a sandwing. And what it gave me for Ember's appearance is... Ember is smaller than the average sandwing, but she's agile and quick on her feet. Her scales are a sandy brown color with lighter underbelly scales. She has striking orange eyes that give her a fierce look. She has a scar over her left eye, which she received in a fight with a rogue dragon. The smaller than the average sandwing thing kind of reminded me of Sunny, but I'll roll with it. Personality. Ember is a cunning and resourceful dragon. She is fiercely independent and often prefers to work alone but she has a soft spot for underdogs and is willing to lend a helping claw when needed. She can be short-tempered at times, but she is loyal to those she considers her friends. Background Ember grew up as the middle child in a large Sandwing family. Her parents were strict and often favored her older and younger siblings over her. Despite this, Ember learned to fend for herself and became skilled in survival techniques. She left her family and tried behind when she was old enough to strike out on her own and has been traveling the world ever since. Abilities Ember has a natural talent for stealth and is an excellent hunter. She is also a skilled fighter, having honed her skills through years of fighting rogue dragons and defending herself in the wilderness. She is particularly skilled in using her sand-colored scales to blend into her surroundings and avoid detection. And one more ability that I added on was just the fact that she has the sandwing barb. But yeah, so she's a, she's a small little sandwing. Ember is not a typical sandwing name. I feel like that would be more of a skywing name. And uh, oh, I added little little flames on her shoulders. Like I tried to make the flames look like just like oh, they're just uh, they're just her scales, you know? They're just little random scales that happen to look like flames, and that's why her parents named her Ember. And I really like how she ended up. Um, 
She's a small, small angry girl. So that's very nice. All in all, I really enjoyed drawing Ember. I liked doing the little flame design on her shoulders. I liked doing the scar above her eye. I thought it was a uh, pretty, honestly, <laughs> Somehow her description was both unique and generic, and honestly, I love it. It was it was a lot of fun to draw. All right, on to the second character. Name, Nova. Tribe, Nightwing. Appearance, Nova is a sleek Nightwing with midnight black scales that gleam with a starry sheen. She has piercing green eyes that seem to glow in the dark, and her underscales are a lighter shade of black with subtle green and silver accents. Her build is slender and agile, allowing her to move quickly and gracefully. Nova has a noticeable scar on her back, which she received during an attack on her tribe. Personality Nova is a sharp-witted and quick-thinking dragon. She is highly intelligent and enjoys solving puzzles and riddles. She can be a bit aloof and distant at times, preferring to keep to herself and observe her surroundings. However, once you earn her trust, she is fiercely loyal and will go to great lengths to protect her friends and loved ones. Background Nova grew up in the Nightwing tribe, where she was regarded as one of the most promising young scholars. However, during an attack on her tribe, she was separated from her family and forced to flee into the wilderness. Since then, she has traveled extensively and studied a variety of subjects, from history and politics to astronomy and magic. Abilities Nova possesses a unique ability to see and interpret the stars. She can use the stars to navigate, predict the weather, and even gain insight into the future. She also has a keen sense of hearing and can detect even the slightest of sounds, making her an excellent scout. In addition, Nova has a natural talent for magic and she enjoys experimenting with new spells and incantations. So my idea for Nova, I feel like Nightwings are always difficult to write just because they're so unique on the outside it can be hard to make them unique on the inside. But that's why we had ChatGPT come up with that for us. <laughs> And from what Chet gave us, I came up with the idea that Nova definitely likes to be in charge because she has the abilities to be in charge. She's smart, she's quick thinking, she's a great scout, and she knows she should be in charge and everyone else just has to deal with it. <laughs> but she can also be a little strange sometimes, like she's distant or she's aloof, and in those times she's probably thinking about her background and how she was separated from her family. But she has the strength inside her to keep moving forward, and that's why she'd be a great leader. Overall, Nova was probably my least favorite to draw. She just felt like a typical Nightwing, and honestly, I was just doing my best to make her not look like Moon because of the whole green eye and green undertone thing that ChatGPT gave me. But wait till we get to this third and final character. Oh my goodness. Okay y'all, I saved the best for last. Character number three. I literally loved drawing this character so much that I'm just- I'm keeping her as an OC now. Her name is Citrus, and Nova and Ember I drew for this video. Citrus I drew for this video, and now I want to keep her because she is just- I'm- I'm so proud of the design I did, and also just- I don't know, I feel like I connected to her a lot. But anyways, let's get into the details of Citrus. Tribe, Rainwings. Appearance. Citrus is a medium-sized rainwing with bright citrus-colored scales in shades of orange, yellow, and green. Her eyes are a warm brown color, which gives her a friendly and approachable look. She has a long prehensile tail that she can use to grip onto branches or hang upside down. Personality. Citrus is a bully and outgoing dragon who loves to make new friends and explore new places. She is always up for a good adventure and has a natural curiosity about the world around her. She has a good sense of humor and loves to make others laugh. Background Citrus grew up in a small rainwing tribe, where she quickly gained a reputation as a friendly and outgoing dragon. She spent much of her youth exploring the rainforest and discovering new things, which fueled her love of adventure and discovery. As she got older, she decided to leave her tribe and travel the world, hoping to meet new dragons and experience new cultures. Abilities Citrus has the standard Rainwing abilities of Camouflage and Venom, but her Venom is non-lethal. She is also a talented singer and loves to sing to others, using her voice to calm and soothe those around her. And that's all about Citrus. I actually made a minor change to her appearance. Um, chat wanted her to have brown eyes, but from a designer's point of view, I just felt that green eyes worked better and popped a lot more given her design already had a lot of brown on her face. 
I also like that chat mentioned her venom being non-lethal, because I know that rainwing venom is only lethal if it's in the eyes or exposed places like scars, but I liked the idea that Citrus just has all around non-lethal venom. Like even if it got onto the scars or eyes or whatever, it, it won't kill someone, it might just hurt a lot. <laughs> Oh, and also, I don't know why, but she just gives trans energy. So yeah, she's trans femme and we love that. Using ChatGPT to make these characters was definitely a bit of a roller coaster, since it can be a little goofy sometimes with how it responds. But all in all, it was a lot of fun to use, since the only thing I had to focus on was the design aspect, and I could build off of the character that chat gave me. So yeah, there's our three Wings of Fire OCs generated by ChatGPT and drawn by me. How would these characters meet each other if they were in series? Let me know in the comments what you think, and maybe I'll make a video on it in the future. Like the video and subscribe if you'd like to see a part 2 of me drawing Wafosis made by ChatGPT.